Happy National Cybersecurity Awareness Month. My name is Aisha Hollins. I am uh, the CEO and founder of Dorinted Technology and the host of the upcoming ninth annual Cybersecurity Awareness Conference, Techdemic, that is scheduled to be held October the 28th. I am here today. I'm so very excited to have my guest here, Dr. Angel Durr. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of dive in and do a little bit about who she is, what she's passionate about, how she started her journey, um, so and some of the things you, we can expect from you at the conference. Yeah, so, um, so for me, uh, again, I'm Dr. Angel Durr, and I joined this space, this technology space back in 2006 after, to be honest, I was just a computer geek who was into <laughs> computer gaming back then. <laughs> and uh, then I got the opportunity to join the Obama campaign after working for a political action committee. Yeah. And from there, I got uh, shoved into technology in a way that I didn't really necessarily expect, um, but it was really exciting to work as a campaign analyst and strategist on that campaign, and it pushed me to start looking at tech strategy, and I work now as a consultant in that space, and I'm also a data scientist, um, among other things, so. I love the term, I got shoved into this, yeah. so explain, how did you get shoved? <laughs> Well, at that point, when I was working on the Obama campaign, I realized that we had all of this information sort of at our disposal that we were using to develop a campaign that wasn't just rooted in, um, you know, door to door sort of um, phone based uh, engagement. We were really looking at technology and looking behind the scenes of resources like Facebook in a way that I didn't even think was possible at that point. And so to be honest with you, I was fearful about the technology that we were using and what it would mean for people of color and people from the communities that I was from. And so I felt like it was really my duty to be engaged in this community, knowing how powerful it would be. And flash forward to the next political campaign season, and we see just how powerful that was when in the hands of someone like Donald Trump. Oh, awesome. So um, we talk about National Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Why do you think that this initiative is important? So coming from my background specifically, um, in addition to working in this space that I work in as a technologist, I've actually seen firsthand the impact of technology on those same communities because my mother was an early stage cyber criminal herself. Um, and so I was also sort of thrust into the cyber crime space after her unfortunate murder um, as a result of that cyber crime activity. And in doing so, I learned that there's so little jurisdiction or legal repercussions for the people that are out there committing cybercrime. And that really it's our new World War 3.0 that we're looking at as people like China and Russia are attacking businesses as well and destroying our economy on a global scale. That is so one terrible. Yeah. Number two, it is extremely scary. It is. Um, and I heard you mention about sociology and technology. Mm -hmm. And so often the the two are never married together. Yeah. So I'm glad that we're having this conversation. It's something that's near and dear to me as well. Mm -hmm. Very sorry to hear about your mother. Yeah. Um, so talk to me just a little bit about the sociology technology part. Yeah, and so... Within this space, um, whether it be the cybersecurity space or technology as a whole, we have a huge diversity issue and we have a lot of people making decisions that are not directly being impacted by those decisions. The digital divide that's existed within the communities of color and poor communities um, and other people that are in a lower socioeconomic status is very evident in the cybercrime space too. Those same people that are being left behind by the digital divide are being substantially impacted by cybercrime. So from a socioeconomic standpoint, really understanding the ways in which technology have impacted certain communities carries over to cybercrime, I would say even more so because it means that there's a new space for people to be victimized and really no way to stop it from happening at this point. 
Yes. It is where we are, unfortunately. Yes. And it's one of the main reasons why we feel that the awareness yes. is so important. And so as you heard Dr. Angel Gurr say, um, her topic will be World War Three. 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 3.0 is what we're Point, in the midst of. Oh, it's what we're in the midst of. And so that's what we can look to, to gain from you on October the 28th. We want to invite you all to come out, join us. You will not want to meet this, miss this exciting segment. I'm excited to hear it, right? I'm so looking forward to hearing all that you have to say, have to add back to the community. And um, is there anything else you would like to say before we go? No, just, um, you know, it's not a question of if you will be a victim of cybercrime. It's a question of when. So this information is valuable for anybody in any kind of role. It doesn't matter if you consider yourself a technology person or not. This is just where the world is. And so I can guarantee that you will find some really great information that will help you stay safe ultimately out there. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so very much. Remember, go out, get your tickets, register. We still have seating available. Um, we will be at the Dallas College Capel Center. Matter of fact, that's where we are today. Yes. Enjoying their wonderful facility. We will be here October the 28th, starting at 8.30. Registration is 8.30. We kick off at 9 o'clock. You won't want to miss it. See you there. Bye-bye.